Good morning. It is January 24th, 2018. It is another beautiful day. This is Bomani Arma. I am not a rapper. I'm a poet with a hip hop style. Thank you to everyone who wished my daughter Sanadwe a happy first birthday yesterday. Vanessa and I had a great day with our princess. Today, I am excited because I am substituting for my friend and colleague, Femi the Dry Fish, at my alma mater, Largo High School. I got some stuff for them. Um, there are 191 days until Watermelon Day. Check the website for more info on the planning for that coming up soon. Uh, I wanted to talk this morning about how men talk about our romantic relationships in the public sphere. Especially popular music and social media since the two are my profession and my obsession respectively. I'm not going to call, I'm not going to really give relationship advice. I'm always wary of that since relationships are so distinct to each couple that's having them and because most people just rework cliches or give advice that might be good for their specific experience. I can say I noticed a trend about how men speak about our relationships in art and social media. I've got notes on how the women do as well, but I'll let them have that conversation amongst themselves. First, no more complaining about gold diggers if you're flashing gold. I'll say that again. No more complaining about gold diggers if you're flashing gold. You can't brag about buying out the bar while simultaneously complaining about thoughts all on you because of what you've got. This is obviously directed at the flashy rappers and the Instagram flossers. You can't literally have gold around your neck, in clubs, all the baller alerts list all the time, and get mad that women are attracted to it. Your bank account is the gold mine and her stilettos are the pickaxe. If you're going to play the game, just be fair. Everyone is at the club. Everyone at the club is taking part in an ancient mating ritual and financial transaction we all know the rules to. Be real. The entire game is set up unfairly. Our entire economy is set up to pay women less than what they are worth and make them rely on the money their husbands make. I personally have never had a problem finding non gold women. Even those women who want to make who want to feel who want to feel like you have the potential to take care of yourself and your family before they invest in you that should be just expected but if you got it and you tr truly believe it ain't tricking if you got it then she's not tricking either you're both getting what you want shake hands or however you guys greet each other and play fair i'm sure the women you've dated had tremendous problems we all do but the second thing we have to got the second thing we have to start realizing is you are the common denominator in all your failed relationships. I'll say that again. You are the common denominator in all your failed relationships. This is a rule for all genders and all relationships and the hardest idea for me to come to grips with personally. I've been done wrong numerous times. I can't say that I deserved it, but when the same thing happens to me twice, I've got to start analyzing how I'm putting myself in that situation. This is true for all types of relationships, personal, business, romantic, etc., and must be kept in mind when you're being publicly critical of all the bad women Women you've seen to come across. There's some, 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 there's some signal given, weakness exposed, or a choice that you've made consistently that puts you in this predicament. Any public analysis of your dating problems should recognize that, if you're honest. I've been the bad guy a few times in relationships as well, never intentionally, so I try to never question the intentions of the women I've dated, just realize that we're all trying to figure it all out. Next. Don't talk bad publicly about the mother of your children. I'll say that again. Don't talk bad publicly about the mother of your children. At no point does the person you had a child with stop being some kind of reflection of you. She is at least a reflection of you at some point in your life. At some point you had sex with the woman you thought was worthy or that the risk of the consequences of that sex was worth it. There is no way your problems with the mother of your child aren't, on some basic level, a reflection of your decision-making skills, if not countless other skills so just in an attempt to make yourself look better you should try not to let everyone know all your custody problems I know some people need to know what's going on in your life for safety and financial reasons etc but the general public I'm not a lawyer but I'm pretty sure that many men are running the risk of giving themselves legal problems by creating a hostile environment for the mother of their children in their publics and social media discussions about them besides you want to keep the possibility of having a cordial if not constructive relationship with your child's mother open publicly bashing her even if seemingly justified would never be helpful most importantly keeping that child's business out of everyone's mouth you're creating a permanent record that other people will look up find and use in incredibly mean ways if they want to against your child. You might be okay with everyone knowing your business. There is no reason to tell everyone your child's business. All right, lastly, 
Women having their reformation or revolution are not the cause of your dating problem. I'll say that again. Women having their revolution is not the cause of your dating problem. We cannot create a better black community and better society as a whole without women completely being completely involved from the leadership to the grassroots. And we won't create a better society in the black community if our idea of a better society is just a black version of the society that already exists. I am not interested in the dating and marriage rules of the 1850s or the 1950s. Both are antithetical for progress in our society. It is in our best interest that women's ideas and talents are honed and used to the best services of our communities and not just relegated to what we men think they should be. Men since the black power movement and before have felt that women should stand behind us or out of the way as we freed ourselves and then came back to get them. That's never gonna happen and we shouldn't want it. When it comes down to it, the average woman has the interests of the average man in her community at heart. When given greater opportunity and access, they will want to make the lives of their fathers, their brothers, husbands, and sons better. Even misogynists brag about this when they talk about what lengths their unwitting women will go to for them, or when they boast about all the mountains their mother has moved for them. We know that our women are an incredible asset, and I want them to be even more of one for their sake and ours. Them being paid equally will ultimately benefit us. Women being able to move about freely without the fear of rape and harassment will benefit us. Them using their resourcefulness and decision making that we laud about them for the greater society and through politics and not just in our homes will be beneficial to us. That's it. When you find the keys to a peaceful and happy uh, relationship, please feel free to share them with me. But let's be careful about how we talk about each other. We're all on the same team. This is Bomani Armand, datarapper.com. Peace.